So my favorite nursery rhyme is one that many may not expect it to be, given the nature that the nursery rhyme has been put through. One that actually originates across seas from where I am. One that has been developed to so many different types to the point where you look at it and you go, depending on the person, you can either say it's super dark or relatable. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Now for those who have followed my channel long enough probably already know what this nursery rhyme is, but said nursery rhyme is called the Crooked Man. Now the rhyme itself, the original one is simply short and goes, there was a crooked man who had a crooked smile, found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He had a crooked cat who caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Now that is the nursery rhyme right there. For those of you who have followed my channel long enough know that the version I came to adapt into is much longer and much, much darker. The crooked... I'm not going to go too much into detail about the darker end of it, though, because the, the rhyme I like, for reasons that I don't really understand entirely myself, it just kind of appeals to me, is the version I just quoted. The original version of the Crooked Man poem. I think the thing that interests me about the Crooked Man, though, is more it's how it's adapted into modern day and how people have turned it into of a more literal kind of thing like why is he crooked and they came up with some kind of dark demented poem and now the crooked man is like known to be this physical crooked being you'll find in either a horror film or a horror game depending on where you look <clears throat> But what I find interesting about the original poem is that, yes, it's based off of, I think, if I remember correctly, a war uh, in uh, history somewhere over uh, that took place, I think, in Great Britain, I think. Um, but what I find interesting about uh, The Crooked Man is you can actually interpret it into different things as well. I mean, you can tell that just by the wording of the poem, you can tell where it originates. But either way around, just looking at the wording alone, it, the poem in short, if you were to take it literally, it just talks about a man who maybe, I don't know, if you're soft about it, it talks about a man who's like, you know, going through a lot. And basically he has a cat who kind of vents for itself as well and randomly this crooked man finds a sixpence randomly upon what is considered a style which honestly last the last time I I read that I was like wait what is that I had to look it up and it's been so long that I would actually have to look that look that up again but you know but I guess in short, it's basically a step on, like, like those those staircases that lead up to doors sometimes. Not really st staircases, but steps. Over here in America, we call them steps, but over there, they're considered styles. The technical term is a, a style for those. There was a random sixpence upon, just like, right in front of somebody's door. He's like, huh. Oh, finders keepers. <laughs> But I don't know. I do find a lot of very peak interest in The Crooked Man. There are a few other poems that I do find interesting too for like, just because of the fact that you can think of it, where did it originate from? That's how where I find interest in certain poems. The Crooked Man is just one that sticks out more than others. But another one that would follow up very close to that would actually be the Ring Around the Rosies poem that a lot of children sing to. Now this is not a ruin your childhood thing, but if you like that poem and you don't want this childhood ruined, stop watching this video now. If you don't know what I'm going to say about that poem. But if you don't care and you're like, eh, I'll subside it, then I guess here we go. 
Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. That, nursery rhyme, for those who don't know, is based off the Black Plague. And, whew, Ring around the rosies was like this thing that showed up on people's arms back then that was basically not, it was basically saying, yeah, you're gonna die. Pocket full of posies. Posies, if I remember correctly, was the kind of thing that helped. Ashes, referring to the ashes of the burned dead bodies back then. We all fall down. Gee, I wonder what that would mean. It's interesting to think about when some po To me, poetry is interesting to think about for the sense of what does it mean. Those two are, like, very good examples, which is why they're two of my favorite poems. Crooked Man still takes the cake by quite a bit, because I have to really think about it, because it's not from... It, it, it's not as well known here. Nonetheless, I still love it. Either way around, though, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite poem is, and why. Um, if you guys did like this video... Make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I do either videos about me like this, or random discussion and rants all the time. Click the links on the side of my head if you want to see what I mean. Or if you want to check out any other live stuff I do on this channel, or gaming content that I do, whether it's 100% run-throughs, not really walkthroughs, I don't do walkthroughs, but 100% run-throughs of games, uh, first-time playthroughs, or just comedic playthroughs of games. If you like that kind of stuff, definitely check out the channel as well. It's always 50-50 between the live stuff and the gaming stuff, which gaming stuff you'd see later today in about two hours from now. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.